So then we move on in our next paragraphs. Those would be the bodies. So the body paragraphs, each paragraph in the body will introduce one example or one bit to support this argument. So kind of example by example you're going to show that the cause and effect are linked. So in your essay, each paragraph in the body is a chance to make that case again. So one paragraph shows one example, another paragraph shows another example, next paragraph shows another example, and you keep showing this link between, in my example, young people playing video games and violence. You could have a case where somebody committed murder and then in the newspaper it said that he liked to play video games. That's one paragraph. There may be another paragraph where there was a study at a university that found that when young people played video, violent video games, they hit other children more often. So that's another paragraph. So paragraph by paragraph we make the case. Cause leads to effect. Cause leads to effect. Then we're going to sum up the essay at the end with our concluding paragraph. And in this one, of course, as always, we're going to summarize. And we're going to really restate very clearly the cause links to the effect. Something causes something. This is really important. And we're going to really emphasize that link. Again, as we've said before, you want to be very clear about writing your voice, about writing what, sh what your main point is. I, I almost said write what your feeling is. But you may have a strong feeling. That's OK. But in your writing, you don't say, I feel, or I think, or I, I kind of, it may be, should be, could be. No, you avoid that. You try to make everything very, very clear and solid. Now is not the time to step back and be shy. You want to be very forward and clear about all of this. Some of the common phrases and words used in an essay like this are accordingly, all things considered, as a result. That's a, that's a really common one, right? Because you say something A leads to B and this thing here is as a result, right? As a result of. Consequently, for this purpose, hence, this is again a good one, A, hence, B, owing to B, owing to A, then, therefore, thus. People love to use this thus because it sounds like it's a, A leads to B, very, very easy to see, no confusion. Okay, so remember, Make that link clear, but make sure you prove there was an effect. Something really happened. Let's go ahead and try a practice. 100 words. Not too hard. You can give it a try. Use your QEC software. And in our ebook on page 72, there's a writing practice here. And it is, of course, for cause and effect. And you can choose any one of these four topics to try to make your argument for cause and effect. One, two, three, four. Choose one and please write 100 words in your essay. Let's take a look at a couple of these examples. The effect of my appearance on my life. Lots of people, certainly you can write about that, right? The impact of a person uh, when a person cannot find a job. So that's kind of a situation of people can't find a job. What happens? What's the effect? The effects of moving to a new town or city. The effects of peer pressure. So these all have, remember, two parts to them, the cause and the effect. So in your essay, try one of those 100 words.